What is up guys? Bingy for the here. We are back on the desolation map. We're back in Chinatown. Yes, we is. Okay, we're getting so close to filling up this map, guys. I feel it in my bones. Okay, I wanna I wanna finish so badly. You don't even know. This is going on three years now, and every day I sign in to do more and more work and you know, sometimes it feels like we're never going to finish. Other times it feels like we're, I'm so close I can taste it. Okay, so I want to work on Chinatown today a little bit more. Yesterday I worked on this building here while we talked about magic. I have not seen your guys' reactions to that video yet. I haven't posted it at the time of this recording, so I don't know how that went over. I hope you guys liked it. We'll see. Uh, but I worked on this, and uh, I finally got the stairs figured out. I don't know if you saw in the video, but I could not figure out these stairs. But finally, I think the stairs are figured out. We got a floor here. We got a floor here. Huh, that doesn't work so well. What if we did this? Yeah, the floors are awkward. A little bit awkward. Okay, there we go. That's better. We got a floor here. And of course, we have a floor up here. And this uh, stair, oops, the stairwell will go up to the roof, of course. And what I did here is I, I did the floors for each level, and I kept the floors the same. But this is gonna let me know what uh, what is what on this on this thing. So let me double skin my wa walls first and foremost. That is the most important thing, guys. Double skin the walls. I gotta do it. It's something that cannot be overlooked. Sorry, that's just how the cracker crumbles. All right, so what I want to do is have this gray area be an entryway, a foyer, so to speak. So we need to skin these walls up. Maybe wood? I don't know. Um, I am planning to do an illegal operation in this building, and I haven't decided what yet. You guys have get, come through with so many great suggestions. I'm not really sure which I should pick out. I'm thinking maybe the illegal animals. We've been putting that one off for a while. So the illegal animals definitely is a, a high runner up. A runner. High runner? Yeah, it's a high runner. It's, it's a high contender for illegal operations here in Chinatown. So I, uh, that idea came to us from Dragon Slayer. And I've been meaning to do that. And I guess this would be an okay place to do it. Mm, how's this going to go? Like that. Something like that. I don't know, it's cramped conditions, guys. Anytime you got cramped conditions, it's like, uh, it's a it's a struggle to <laughs> to double skin walls. I, I talk about double skinning walls and the importance of it, but yes, in cramped conditions, it can be difficult. You just gotta practice, get good at double skinning. It's a skill, <laughs> whether you believe it or not. Double skinning your walls is not easy sometimes. It takes some creativity and ingenuity because oftentimes your conditions are so cramped that it doesn't even make sense to double skin them, but you still gotta do it, okay? You got to. Trust me on this, guys. You got to trust me. You got to do it. So this is going to be like the entryway TV room. I'm not really sure how I'm going to fit a TV in here. This is so cramped. Maybe there's no TVs. This is Chinatown. They don't have time to watch TV. You know what I'm saying? All right. It looks like this might be a double skin in the wall episode. I don't know how much I could actually get done today, but this will give you a good sense of how I do my interiors. I see a lot of people, this is a huge mistake, huge mistake that I see people making. They go to do interiors and they say, okay, I'm gonna build a room here, a room here, a room here, and they just put one block as the walls, right? Think about your, any interior you've ever been in, guys. The walls are different, in, a different color in almost every room. Almost every room. So why in Minecraft would you make your walls the same color in every room? Answer me that. Can anyone answer? No? That's right, you shouldn't. And it doesn't make sense to do so. So why do people do it? I still don't understand. I mean like, I mean like professionals, like YouTubers I've seen do this. It's like, wow. I mean... I understand that uh, exteriors are important in Minecraft, but you gotta have a well-rounded game, guys. You gotta work on those interiors, get your game up, because they're very difficult to do. I acknowledge that, very difficult. So, so anything that's difficult requires practice and it requires some dedication and you can't just go around making your walls all the same. Oh man, that's terrible. Terrible. So this will be the kitchen. It's a small kitchen, okay? This is gonna be a hallway, so let's get some wood on here. 
I think I'm gonna do a different color for every. I mean, I I made the the carpets, the flooring, the same on every floor. But I think I'm gonna do different colored walls in every floor. It makes sense. I don't I don't see why they would paint the walls the same in every room, on every floor. But the carpets are the same. They probably got the same contractor to build the place, but different contractor to paint the place. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on here anymore, guys. I'm just going through the motions, doing my best to get this map finished. Oh, man, it's been, like I said, it's been three years. Holy cow, over three years. It's been three years, three months. Oh, my goodness. We're still not done. I'm not getting too much help these days. Uh, Solid's abandoned his projects. Stormzix is working really hard on the nightclub and I almost want to go over there now and just show you what he's been doing he just signed on there he is and uh, he's been working hard thank you to Stormzix uh, for all your hard work on the moist nightclub <laughs> oh man he's been doing so many great things in there I really want to show you guys I'm not sure if I want to I don't know if I want to wait to show you or show you now it's a very difficult thing. You know, do I show a finished product or do I show work in progress? Which would you guys rather see? Put in the comment section. You guys aren't putting comments in the comment section as much as you used to. So I'm kind of lost out here. What What am I supposed to be doing? You know what I mean? I need you guys. You guys are my, uh, my support group, really. Got some windows. And then this is a bedroom. We'll make this one red. Ooh. Red and clay together at last. Okay. See how easy it is to double skin the walls? It didn't take me much time. Now, every room's gonna look different, guys. That's what we're going for here. That's what you should be going for with your interiors if you are working on interiors. Make every room feel different, make every room feel unique and have its own character because that's how rooms are in real life, I feel like. Don't you think? I always do the ceilings last because. Quite frankly, it's hard to work in the dark. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'd rather not have to worry about potions. There we go, double skins. Now we make a few doors and we're, we're good. A door there, a door there. Oh, beautiful. This is gonna be great to loot and scavenge. You can fit a TV there, no problem. All right, let's go see. So this is one, two, three, four blocks high. I wanna go see the floor below, see how much space we have to work with. Okay, one, two, three, four blocks high. Oh. Ooh. So it looks like the ceiling's gonna have to be slabs. Oh my, oh my. Anyway, let's go see what Stormzix is working on. Why not? I wanna see. I wanna see. Let's go take a gander on the moist nightclub. Oh boy, look at him go. We may need some potions for this. I'll take some just in case. Put some in my inventory. He's been working hard. Oh my goodness, it's epic. Oh, he's forgot that side. <laughs> he got that side, but he forgot that side. This is not a grand tour. I'm gonna go through this quick because I don't want to spoil it. Oh my goodness, look at this guy go. This guy is getting better at building. Let's let's get on the juice. What on earth are these things? Are those cameras? I don't know what those are. <laughs> I'm confused. I don't know. Uh, that's it look. They look like bats. <laughs> if you ask me, like bats in the belfry over there. Great design on the ceiling. I hope he doesn't mind me showing this because he's not done. I don't. I don't want to show anything that's not done if he's not ready to show it. You know what I'm saying? So let's just go through real fast, real fast. Oh baby, look at these hallways. Look at them. Okay, I think these are the showers, the bath areas where you take a shower after you've partied your butt off. Oh yeah, showers for sure. Very nice. Oh, where does this go? I haven't seen a lot of this myself. Oh, is this an employee section? <laughs> I don't know. Bizarre. Like I said, he's not done. Like I said. Let's see what else we got here. Oh man, it just keeps on going. This has got to be the employee room. We got kitchen, bathroom, TVs, more employee stuff, not done. Oh boy, this is going to be crazy for PvP. We're going to get lost in here. Oh, I can't wait to do it. I can't wait. Let's go see up top, see what he's doing over here. So we're getting into not yet done territory. But oh man, Stormzix going off in this place. Wow. 
This is his magnum opus. <laughs> Look at this. I would love to party here. Oh, this would be the best place to party. Oh, man. So, you know, remember I said I'm not getting any help. I'm not getting any help besides Storm 6. <laughs> you know what I mean? Now, there's people that have been helping uh, around the town. IGL Xenix has been helping Bedrock recently. Uh, Xbox Man has helped Storm 6 with this a little bit. Um, you know, directing. Storm 6 directs him and tells him what to do. And Xbox Man helps. So, I mean, it's not to say that there's no help. I just, like... The only person working on their own mega project is Stormzix, and uh, as you can see, it's going really well. He's got a long ways to go, but I don't mind. He's taking his time, doing it right. That's the important thing. Oh, what's this? Oh, let's leave him to his own devices, <laughs> okay? I think that's enough in here. I don't want to spoil everything. Oh, no. Now I'm stuck. <laughs> now I'm lost. What do I do? I'm in the bathrooms again. Wow, this is going to be confusing. Now I'm going to know what, what people feel like when they play Desolation in PvP. Because they're always lost. They don't know where to go. And I know everything. So I'm just like, how could you be lost on this map? But, but now I'm going to understand. When I come in here, I'm going to get lost for sure. For sure. Alright, well. I think that's going to be the episode for today. We got a lot of progress here going in. Chinatown coming through. Stormzix working on the moist. Once the moist is done, I'm going to have a PvP game. I believe. That's my intention. Uh, nightlife section only PvP area. Alright guys, Chinatown needs a lot of work, a lot of TLC. So I'm going to get back to it to leave you guys and get back to building. So I want to thank you guys for enjoying today's video. If you did, if you didn't enjoy it, please let me know in the comment section. I like to hear interaction. Both positive and negative feedback is greatly appreciated. Alright, so, you know, get active in the comment section. Don't be shy now, okay? You're behind an internet wall. Oh, what is going on here? So much lag in the menus, my friends. So much lag. All right. That's going to be the episode for today. Leave a like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you haven't already. Happy Minecrafting. Peace.